Welcome back to Suzuki Science. Mr. Ellis here, and I've been looking forward to being in touch with you for the past three weeks. While I enjoyed my March break, then the world changed. And it looks like you are not coming back to Suzuki, I'm not going back to Suzuki, but the learning is still going to happen. This first week, we're going to take it a little easy. And I know that many of you have been, at least in the first week of March break, you were doing things that you have not been doing for probably a long time, especially in these past three weeks, the amount of time you spent with family. So I just want to maybe share a little bit with what I've been doing with my family. I have a family of four. I have my oldest, Jace, who's in university, first year at University of Waterloo. I have my youngest, Darian, who's 15 in grade 11. I have my wife, Christine, who's also a teacher in a school here in Hamilton. And of course, you know who I am. I want to start off my show with a uh, share of some of the things I've been doing for the past three weeks. And then I'm going to ask you to share back. Not nearly as much detail. I've been doing quite a bit, but let me share a few things here. So we've been doing a lot of nature walks, and I found this Anukshuk. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. You've probably seen a variety of these because, you know, it's part of the um, indigenous uh, symbols that we see across Toronto, across the province, across the nation. And what it does is it really symbolizes safety, hope, and friendship. So as we enter into these uncertain, unprecedented times, I'd like you to think about the safety of your home and the safety of social distancing, as well as um, hope, right? We hope to be back together soon. We know it's not going to be for a long time, but sooner than later. We, so as I said, we did a lot of nature walks. We found some places at this time of year. We live kind of in a wetland area. Um, I don't know if you know Hamilton at all, but there's these things called Webster's Falls, Two's Falls. Hamilton's the city of 100 waterfalls or something like that. There's lots of water. And so we were checking out this uh, body of water by a dam, and the mud was probably ankle deep at the minimum. So it was really challenging to walk around. As you are learning your, or living in your new reality here, we are all looking for places to work. And I know I've been talking to a few, quite a few alumni, as a matter of fact. I know this one person has sent me a picture of her new workspace that happens to be in her parents' closet. I guess it's a pretty big closet, but that was a space that was quiet enough for her to work in. So in our home, we have four people. All of us are doing work. Uh, this is Darian's current room. He's, this is not his sleeping room. It's an extra bedroom we have in our house. There's uh, Leo. He's a leopard gecko in that cage over there. And this is his workspace. So he's doing some math. And Jace is working in our room. We have a little section towards the end with lots of windows. It's really sunny. He likes taking pictures of animals as they go around. Surprise, surprise. So that's his space there. Uh, Christine, she works in the main living room area. So she's doing some work here, some math with uh, Darian at the moment. She loves doing puzzles. And she also works at the kitchen table and switches out in the room sometimes. And so she's teaching at a school where they... They, the students check in at 8.30, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever their classroom starts. It's a very different environment than us. They actually are running school virtually, whereas we're running an online environment. And then here's my workspace. I, I, tend, I like monitors. I like having lots of uh, real estate so I can move things around and not worry about having... Well, I, I still have 50 windows open, but it makes it easier when I have this many monitors. It snowed here. Uh, I was talking to my, my colleagues and friends in Brampton and they didn't get quite the same snow. This was a week ago and so I was able to do my initials. We made a snowman. It didn't last very long. That was like two days later. We're fortunate in the area that we live in. They've been very clear, the government, about staying home as much as possible, getting outside for exercise if need be and shopping and hospital and whatnot. Uh, we live in an area where there are not a lot of homes so we're able to this is across the road of uh, there's a really large hill so that arrows point to where my home is from that hill so we went up to this hill we go there every other day and just walk around in the swamps that's us on top of the hill that's jason darian one of the trails that we can walk to for my home it's a ferry trail and they have these uh these little ferry doors in all these trees so that's interesting an elephant in a tree there's a trunk and the eyes some of you, I don't know if you've been shopping with your parents, they probably left you at home, hopefully, and only one of them went out so that there's as few of you as possible going outside. This was a Costco lineup. I decided to go to the end of it, check it out, and then I left. It's easier to shop up food basics or no frills or something. 
Here's an aerial view of kind of where my home is and us walking up that big giant hill and then into the swamps in the back there. So lots of green space where I live. Makes it easy to get some fresh air. Um, a lot of us are eating. So I was um, looking up some recipes and someone mentioned biryani. I don't know if I said it properly. And several people mentioned it. I was like, okay, that looks really good. Let me give that a try. I had no idea the amount of prep I needed to make it. It turned out pretty well. Uh, apple pie and ice cream, homemade apple crumble and ice cream, one of my favorite dishes ever. So eating is one of the prime activities that we're doing currently in these past three weeks. And a little bit of fun, I have a fish tank and look, I have an angler fish. Well, it was that um, virtual reality uh, Google search animal thingy. And so I played with that for a little bit, annoyed my kids, putting it everywhere, they just ignored me. Playing lots of family games. There's pandemic. It's kind of topical. Uh, we're in a pandemic. The game pandemic. Ha ha. And I play Scrabble. So I've been playing Scrabble online. Play a couple good words here. I quit Q on the double letter triple score as a, as a lot of points. And so that's kind of what I've been doing for the past little while. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to share what you've been doing as well. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to go into the Google Classroom and in the Google Classroom, you're going to see a link for a Padlet. And this Padlet that you'll be going to will bring you to this. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture that represents your past three weeks. It might be a lineup at the store like I was doing, or it might be eating lots of food because I talked to a lot of students and that's what they're doing, you know, 24 seven almost. Uh, maybe a screenshot of a Zoom birthday party. You have like six or 18 people who are sitting on a screen saying happy birthday to you and eating their food. Maybe it's a game that the entire family's playing together, card game or a board game. Make sure the photo is appropriate, however. Okay, so I'll be looking at your photos. Everyone's gonna be looking at your photos. Um, post them up and then I want you to comment in a positive way. We're building community here and I want you to comment on at least two people. Feel free to comment on everybody if you'd like to, but at least two people in the class and we're going to take some time to build some community. I know that many of you have been to each other's homes, but after this you'll probably know each other just a little bit more. Once you finish doing this little welcome back, get to know you, what we've been doing for the past three, three weeks, then we're going to uh, look at some of our first activities. However, before we left, I did leave you with some work. And if we take a look at our calendar here, just before we left, we were doing some work on the cell cycle. So the cell cycle is one of the last things we did on the Friday the 13th. We actually did the beat lab the leading up to it, limits of surface area and volume. Hopefully that sounds somewhat familiar. It's been a while. And that Friday was also the day when you're allowed to master the antacid lab. Then before we left, I indicated that I wanted the beat lab submitted at a certain date and that I would like the carousel presentation submitted at a certain date. And then things changed. There were a lot of announcements about, you know, school not coming back for a while. We weren't sure what was happening. Don't do work. But I still gave you those dates so you could work on them. So the beat lab, was supposed to be submitted on the 25th. However, if you did not submit it, that's okay. If you did not submit it, you have this entire week that we're back to go back into your beat lab, make any changes that you'd like, and resubmit it or submit it for the first time. For the beat labs that were submitted early, we'll call it, or on the 25th, I will skim them very quickly. I'll look for anything that's you know missing, that's glaringly incorrect or, or wrong and I will give you some quick feedback so then you can resubmit it with those changes. The other major presentation or evaluation that was assigned before the break, so we're, this is part of your grade, was a carousel presentation. The carousel presentation was made up of a couple of parts. One you'll notice was the cell part, this I think was slides one to six, and then there was the optic section. The optic section is for later in the course. The carousel presentation I asked you to submit on the 27th. But once again, during those two weeks, if you didn't submit it, we were not gonna penalize you. As a matter of fact, the carousel presentation is technically not gonna be due 
in its final form until the end of April. However, for all of you who did submit the carousel presentation, I'm going to go through it, give you some feedback, let you know what I'd like you to improve. Throughout this unit, there'll be a couple of other little pieces that I'll ask you to add. And then at the end of April, after we've been together for three weeks, you'll be submitting that major evaluation. This will be used to help us determine what your final grade will be in this class. Okay. So that is where we stand. So this week here, your task, your homework, your classwork is to complete the COVID experiences on Padlet with the address being in Google Classroom. Make sure you click on that link and to complete any outstanding work. There is one more thing that you will be working on and that will be explained in the actual lesson, which is in the next video presentation.